everybody, it's Chef Darice with the Sylvia Center, a hands-on food and nutrition program based here in New York City and also upstate in Columbia County. Today, we are going to be making something that our littles really love and enjoy to make. It's a very simple recipe that you can make at home with your parents and, um, you know, we encourage that. It only has a few ingredients, what makes this even better. There's only going to be watermelon, honey, lime juice, and water. Can you guys guess what we're making today? Water, melon, lime, and honey. That's one, two, three, four ingredients. What can we possibly be making? I know, watermelon aqua fresca. This is so yummy and so refreshing, especially now that it's starting to warm up outside. So I'm gonna get washed up really quickly. Remember, we have to wash our hands and then we'll get our recipe started. Be right back. Okay, I'm all washed up and I'm ready to start the recipe. First thing we're gonna do is break down our melon. Parents or teens, this is where you will step in because you will have to handle a chef knife and our heavy melon. Make sure the outside of your melon, the rind, is nice and clean. Everything has been washed down, the melon and the lime have been washed to remove any residual dirt. Because remember, what's on the outside, once you cut it, it gets onto the inside. Put your melon down on a nice firm surface. Just break it down. It's easier to do this recipe when we break the melon down in the quarters. And if you are working with small children, this is also a great opportunity to give them a slice of melon to keep them a little occupied. This recipe actually calls for four cups of melon and this is a seedless melon this is the point where you would want to take a little slice hand it off to your little one to keep them occupied and you have a nice flat surface and you'll be able to cut your melon and if you make wedges what you can do is you can let the little people in your house use a, a plastic butter knife or even a stainless steel butter knife and they can help out with this recipe as well you can break down the watermelon see so easy just go around the rim and then they can cut it down a little bit further I would just ask that the adult or teen of the household is the one who does the majority of the knife work with the stainless steel chef knife. It's a little over a cup. We can put that into the bowl. And we need three more of those. Sometimes seedless watermelons, believe it or not, they have seeds. And we do not want those in our agua fresca. So you can just remove them. See, I found one. We're not really worried about these underdeveloped seeds because they are very soft and we will be blending this recipe. I'm actually going to reserve this small piece of melon for a garnish a little bit later. To make this go a little bit quicker, we can actually use a spoon and spoon out the rest of the melon so that we can move a little bit quicker. See how easy that is? This melon is very juicy. What's great about watermelons is its name, watermelon. What's inside the name? Water and melon. So. The majority of the makeup for a watermelon is actually water. What else does watermelon have? Well, that's a good question. We have vitamin C, vitamin A. There's also potassium, which helps with uh, blood pressure. And it has something called lycopene. Lycopene is uh, 
a super antioxidant. It really helps boost your immune system. And some things that most people don't know about watermelon is that sometimes it comes in a different color. Watermelon can actually come as yellow melon and it is super sweet and tastes almost like honey. So now that our watermelon is done, we are going to get in our lime juice. We're going to use the juice of one whole lime. So the best way to juice a lime is to actually roll it out on a flat surface. Some people might even run it underneath some hot water or put it in the microwave for a few seconds to help loosen up the juice, but rolling it will do just fine. I'm going to cut this in half using my tunnel. Those are my two halves of my line. I can grab my bowl and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. The next part of our recipe is the honey in the water. So now we have to get to really measuring things out. We have a measuring cup. We only need one cup of water. Have my water. Whenever we measure a liquid, we should always place the cup on a flat surface. This way we can always see where the line lands. We can't measure from up there. We have to measure from here. Just until we are one cup that goes into the bowl. This recipe also calls for four tablespoons of honey. The trick to this is to run your tablespoon underneath some warm water. This way the honey can slide right out. If you do not have honey, you can use agave syrup. The agave syrup will give it a different taste, but it will work just fine. You can put this directly into a blender or a food processor. I'm going to be using something called an immersion blender. So the attachment comes off. Uh, I have different attachments for this one, but you can purchase immersion blenders where, that are just one piece. Um, on the top, it has the functions. This one is high and low speed. Uh, immersion blenders do come with safety features, um, the ones that you can purchase now, and you would have to actually hold on to uh, a trigger button in order for the motor to start running, which is very safe to use in running children. But this is great when they want to feel like they're doing something technical. The reason why this is called an immersion blender is because this actually has to be submerged in order for you to be able to use it. You should never have your immersion blender on before putting it in because then you have splatter everywhere. You have to put your blender in first and then you can turn your blender on. All done. Now we get to start to drink. You can find any pretty cup in your house to make this beverage with. I got this from my local dollar store. Came with the little flowers for the bottom. You can dress these glasses up. One of the ways that we can do that is we can take a plate and I have some pure cane sugar. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the bottom of a plate. Spread it out evenly. And I did not throw those limes away because I'm actually going to do something with them. I'm going to put some lime juice on the rim of the glasses. This will help the uh, the sugar stick to the glass. Pretty. Okay, everybody. So now our drink is done and ready to go. We have our glasses with a nice sugar rim. Remember, this is pure cane sugar. You don't have to use sugar. You can use salt or you can use some 
pepper, some spices to kick it up a notch. Um, what we're gonna do now is ladle our drink into our nice cups and then we will garnish them with the leftover melon and we can also put a wedge of lime if we would like. Just have a ladle. Grab a nice ladle full and into the cup. That looks so good. So we can add a nice wedge. And there you have it. Watermelon Agua Fresca. It's so yummy. I can't wait for you guys to taste this. So our watermelon aqua fresca is done. It is ready to drink. We have festive cups. You can do a plain mason jar or even if you have any fancy cups, you can use them. For more videos, activities, and resources, go to www.sylviacenter.org. Stay healthy and keep cooking.